Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. And we are here in the Hawkins Mansion, guys, with Sarah Hawkins. Um, recently released from the Riverside Institute. Well, actually, not released. More like escaped. And uh, we need to go ahead and question her about everything that she's experienced so far. Um, we also have Algernon. He's in Charles Hawkins' office right now. And there's an investigation site that we need to look at. But let's have a chat with the lady first. And kind of get some inkling as to what is actually going on here. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Oh, that's not good. You feel guilty, psychology expert that's actually cut off to us, though. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. Ouch. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Uh, <laughs> Valid sanity requirements. I'm going to avoid speaking... In Rylean. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So let's just kind of stay the course here. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Alcohol! Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. Alright. I'll help you. I don't know. Sarah, survive is a relative term. Reminds me of uh, Jafar from the Aladdin sequel. <laughs> You'd be surprised what you could live through. Can we talk to her again? Nope. Okay, now let's go talk to Algernon. Now, Pierce kind of dismisses him, but I think he's definitely going to be useful for no other reason that he is friends with Armitage, who is kind of <laughs> well-known as a foil for Lovecraftian machinations. This place looks so pleasant during the day. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have the secret passageway. But what about that scene above, though? You know what? Let's go ahead and do that first. Just because I'm curious. Well, I don't... Hmm. See if there's anything that we can see here in the light of the day that may be able to provide some fresh clues. Negative. Ew. Dark and creepy. And under the seas. Mm-hmm. There's a running theme here. We have the studio. Wanted to see if there's any more pictures of us. Doesn't seem to be the case. See, if she kept on, like, 
doing paintings like that, everything would be fine. <laughs> Just uh, take a little bit of Eldrick Green and Riley and Red. Remember, we don't make mistakes. We just make happy calamities. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here, Drake. Because that leads to the unpleasantness. Well, actually, a lot of stuff here leads to the unpleasantness. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Hmm. Sanity too high. See, like, the more insane we get, the more we can use Rylan, so... Let's get some more info on the Shambler. This creature... The Shambler. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture... In a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. It's kind of um, like a weeping angel from Doctor Who. An image of an angel becomes an angel. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. Otherwise, we'll be short-lived. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes... I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Ah. What a charming likeness. Sketch of a bust. Now, 
before we do anything else, let's see. We have... Ooh. Oh, it didn't acknowledge my... Ah. Whoops. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. From the last time I loaded a game. And then... We did the two and in investigation. And called it good. I was wondering why I didn't have a psychology um, answer available. I was like, I thought we'd almost maxed out psychology. Okay, skip through all of that. Lovely places. Oh, there's the big guy himself. That's a cool design for him. I have to say, there's the key to Riley, or Riley, or however he wanted to pronounce it. We still have the poker, that's good to know. Medical records, Fuller's notes. We're still in the middle of all that. Just trying to clear all of this to let him... Dark water places the occult dagger invent oh knowledge yeah we got tons of knowledge don't we <laughs> so many books like Pierce should pretty much uh, be quite proficient in the ways of um, dark water and its inhabitants all right. That should clear everything up nicely. Now, I assume this is where we head upstairs. And recreate the scene. We jumped ahead of ourselves. Let's see if I was correct in this assumption. Oh! The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? Oh, that's actually where we uh, woke up. If memory serves. Okay. Hold on. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Let's find out. Secondary objects. Find the still life. Find the amulet. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was she trying to... bind it into a painting? Maybe the door worked both ways? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? I don't think my occult is very high. Please don't jump out at me while I'm recreating the scene. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Was she afraid? I would assume so. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Okay. I guess that's just some additional info. Still, pretty cool. Now, let's see if my uh, assumption is correct. That it's the skull and everything that's just right over... Yes, indeedy. Wow. Alrighty. 
Easy. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. This amulet is engraved with the Elder sign. Drake calls it the key to Riley, and he firmly believes this artifact is of great power. Okay. Did we just get a preview of coming attractions? I think we did. And we got a character point. Let's throw that into investigation again. Mental trauma. Sarah Hawkins ritual. The amulet. Show the amulet to Drake. Can we show the amulet to Sarah first, though? Nope. I don't think Bradley would particularly care. He's a bit distraught at the moment. As you can imagine. Um... I'm always also paying attention to the spot hidden checks to see if I may have missed something. Because you never know. It's you again. Give the amulets. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. You're about to run off, aren't you? It's going to be one of those situations we use the... You know, Cthulhu gets summoned, we're going to use the amulet, and then it's going to be like, Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Ooh. Hi, Sarah. What you doing? I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you. Considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yeah. It's Lovecraft. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Hi, guys. How you doing? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. What judge? You know, us cops. We base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will. Well, hopefully we left Sarah in good hands. Here's hoping. And they don't seem to be particularly concerned that Bradley's police car was just hanging out. Outside. Chapter 10, Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. The, qu the thing about it is, though, I don't think that Sarah is talking about the Shambler. I think the Shambler is small potatoes. I think Sarah is probably talking about either the Leviathan or Cthulhu. And I don't think Pierce is realizing it yet. But, alright, let's see. 
Looks like we're about to be interrogated, at least. One cell for another. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Darkwater. And felonies. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Hmm. Truth comes at a cost. I'm ready to cooperate with him. He's in no position to lecture me. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You were being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? He probably knows about all of it. Dangerous cult is at work. Yeah, we've got an, our investigation is at expert. This is going to be the best time. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. You're going to show me to your, my new accommodations, but I'm already in them. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. You my cellmate? Who's there? <laughs> oh, weird. Okay. This is... Oh, that's gonna... Yeah! I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Drowning here. Do not struggle. Struggling. You will not be able to speak. Or escape my influence. Try to speak. Struggle. <laughs> okay, speaking would be bad. Let's struggle. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. His power. Okay. There is the Oracle, Truth Seeker. Would you like to see her? Accept the knowledge, refuse the knowledge. I think Leviathan is in league with Cthulhu. 
when it talks about his knowledge and everything, I don't think so. Accept the knowledge or refuse the knowledge? We are going to refuse the knowledge. Your mind must open itself willingly, or the truth will immediately shatter it. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. This will affect your destiny. Oh, I hope we made the right call. Thank you, Cerebro. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! <gasps> Oh, crap. Algernon, come back! And we are in the body of Sarah Hawkins. Thank you, Necronomicon. You know what we need? Some rope. And a destroyed machine. I guess that may have been like an elevator. Maybe all the bootleggers are going to die via Shambler. Be an interesting way to go about it. Can we go back this way? <laughs> Just say, can we? Oh, nope. The game said no. I was going to take Sarah to Boston. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Oh, uh, looks like our bootleggers are here. The Shambler has not struck. Hmm. So I'll tell you what, guys. I think this may be a good place to go ahead and end the episode. Now that we're in the body of Sarah Hawkins, who knows what kind of information we're going to find out on what's going on. We've done something to affect our destiny. Um, we had a chat with the Leviathan in jail and refused knowledge. Um, it's just the thing about it is, in Lovecraft you have to kind of go against the normal grain of things when normally in a lot of RPGs or stories, if someone offers you knowledge, you're like, oh yeah, absolutely, I'll take it. But that's not necessarily a good thing in Lovecraft because human beings are limited and they can only take so much truth, quote unquote, before their um, fragile psyche shatters like glass. So I hope we made the right call there. I guess we will find out as time goes on, but we'll continue our adventures in Sarah's body here um, in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>